Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. This is for Fanny in Sweden. She just bought her first Victor II, which I think is wonderful. We own one. And I'm going to show you how to get the motor out of this. Well, you don't want to be a poopy head like I did in a few videos. I already got the crank out. I always do this. But I'm going to show you something. You have so to pull. first take the crank out. First take the crank out. Sometimes the turntables don't want to come off. This one does. But if it doesn't, all you do is have your favorite friend pull up and you just tap that the spindle shaft and that pulls off. So the first thing you do is you pull the turntable off. And you no. notice we have you one. Said, you said the first thing you do. Take the crank out. Second thing you do, do is take the turntable off. Take the turntable off. Now we have one, two, and three screws. Okay. We're going to unlock the three. This is the same motor as a Victor 1, Victor 2, Victor 3, and it goes on. But the 6 is, this Victor 6 is a different motor. A Victor 2 only has one spring barrel. The 3 and the 4s have two spring barrels. But what we have to do is get this off first. So the best way to do this, whoops. On later Victor machines, you see this screw hole right here? This screw will come down in the, light, the late teens and 20s, and they'll have a nut on here. So you'll have to take that nut off first. There'll be two nuts to lock it down. What you're going to do... What kind of tool? This is, screw, this is my multi-screwdriver with the Phillips here, flathead here. I've been using this one for years. Just change out to a smaller head there. I love these multi screwdrivers. We can see here that the screw heads are beat up. So somebody's played with this once in its lifetime. We're going to undo those, and the motor's falling out. We're not going to let the motor fall out. That one's tight. So you're and unscrewing each one a little bit. But I'm not taking them all the way out. Now, what I'm going to do is We now see that it's floating. What we're going to do is take our hand, we're going to push the motor against the motor board, and we're going to unscrew these screws. And while we unscrew these screws, we're going to drop them in the cabinet. They should unscrew easily. If they don't, you're going to have to have a screwdriver. Now, we're down to the last one right here. And this is the one that's holding the motor in place. And we're going to move the motor, wiggle it around. Okay, now my angel will come around here and watch this. Voila, Victor Motor just came out. Why did you put the screws in the case? Because I don't want to lose them. Also, when I took it apart, this is what's left of the rubber gasket. Which went? Here's a rubber gasket there. They all... You hear these hit the cabinet, they're hardened. So you're going to have to replace these rubber gaskets. I use natural rubber, I'll show you that later. Now that I have it apart, what do I do? Well, we'll just move a few things around here on the shop floor. Just lay that there. First thing we want to take, yes. You just have those elevated on two pieces two, of wood. Two before. Why? So, because the spindle shaft will hit. Ah. You don't want and that. sometimes, Fanny asked me, it's missing the, cro I call it the cross right here. This is where the turntable fits. You're going to have to use your illustrious veneer calibers that are sitting by my lathe. You're going to have to measure this and replace these. This is the screws here, right here, that hold the spring barrels in place. Okay. We'll take those out later. 
to put them on two pieces of wood. To put them on two pieces of wood. Two by fours work very well. Now, what's the first thing we're going to take out of this motor? First thing we're going to take out is the hard drive, is the governor, okay. which is this piece right here. And the problem with this er these early Victors is, I had a, a video we just did a few, a few videos back. We have this bracket that holds the governor speed control leathers. We have one here in the bottom, the top, and one in the bottom. So how do I get the governor out? The easy way. The easy way... I'm going to have to get my chair. There's two ways around this. <laughs> Your glove is broken. My glove's broken. God, it's okay. cheap gloves. Okay, okay. Talk to my president about this. <laughs> this drive gear is key to your phonograph. You don't want to damage it. There's two ways to do this. You can unloosen the screw. You can loosen the screw, okay. Yeah, unloosen the screw and push this down, okay. okay? There's a screw in here. But the problem is these get all gunged up and then it's hard to push these down. And we don't want to put a, a punch or a chisel or a screwdriver here and beat this off, right? Because the spindle shaft's the last thing you want to take out of a phonograph. But first we want to get this governor off this early Victor, off this three. So what you do is there's a little screw under here. I know this eats a lot of time on videos, but there we go. It's screwed out. There I go, loose. You can see this is loose now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What we're gonna do we're going to hold the governor in place because it won't move because it's sitting in these bearings. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this shaft out just like that. That shaft comes out. I like, I'm still holding on to the governor right here, the flywheel, and we see we have no tension. You pull that spring out. Darling, huh? should, should you have made sure this... Spring barrels yeah. run down first? Yeah, you want to make sure the spring barrels run down, but I already knew that. But I held on to this, to the governor, when I pulled it out right here, because if there's still tension, this is going to turn like that. But you can control breaking it by holding it with your finger. And then you can reach in here and grab the spindle shaft, and you can just let it slide between your fingers here. Now what you're going to do... You're going to undo that screw. And what I do, everywhere in the world, there's Starbucks. Well, I get these things. You want to get a little lid, like a Starbucks lid. I use these. I find them. Grab a stack of those. Pull that screw out. We don't want to lose these. Now we're going to push it. Now it doesn't want to come apart. So what I'm going to have to do, real quickly, don't go away, I'm trying to find my tools. Ah, oh, here it is. We're going to use a pair of needle nose pliers. And why am I using this? Because it, these bearings get gummed up with oil and junk over 100 years. So what you're going to do is I'm going to take we know the spring barrel's loose. I'm going to take this and that pull that out. That slides forward 
and now the hard drive's out of the, out of the phonograph. What I'm going to show you now is if these are tight like this one, you can take your pair of pliers and push it out like that. And now that one's tight. So what we're going to do we're going to use a small punch. See how small this is? Much smaller than the diameter of that. We're going to get in here and just do a little tap. And it popped out. Now, this is an early Victor. And that, Governor, the later ones have a little slit in them right here. A little indention in the bearing. These don't. But you want to remember that's the end one and that's the other one. We have two. So I set it in my little thing knowing that this goes to the back and this goes to the front to this one. And that's all you do. Now what you do You pull, you leave this in place right here on the, on the Vic 5 I'm doing. You saw I had to make a new one of those and I had to make a new one of these on this motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this whole thing apart. We're going to take this end piece off first, but first I'm going to point out something. You have a cell phone? Take pictures of everything. You see how this has a bend in it right here? A lip and then this one has a lip too and the barrel is flat here you want to make sure that those two little round things they go together when you rebuild the motor but she won't have that because hers is yeah. single spring motor single spring motor so what we're going to do I'm going to switch to the smaller end on the multi screwdriver. You want to push down and pivot. Everything comes out. I know if this is your first motor or your second motor, or you're kind of scared. You have to push up on it. That one doesn't want to come out. That's loose. I'm going to roll it over. it and we're just going to pull that casting off and there's your spring barrel it's that simple I have springs coming for this because I know I have a broken one there you have to make sure that sometimes you might have a small washer spacer washer in here but these early ones don't have that the later ones do when we look at the gear I don't see a lot of wear in here or burrs burring up. There's a little one there. I'm going to have to do the, uh, I have a video on how to clean all the gears up. This is a lot of fun. I hope Fanny enjoyed this. I hope all of you enjoyed this. And that's my tip for the day.